I think the impact that the music has on people is event-based impact, which um, also connects to an environmental experience, perhaps, or in a nature setting. When you encounter uh, the wind on the seashore violently or, or very strongly, or, or the, the cold in, on the mountain, or the, the smell of the humidity in a forest. I, I hope that the music I'm involved with can have a tiny percentage of impact like that. If, if it does, then that pleases me a lot. The guitar solo, I think it's, it's super arcane, archetypal experience, even if the sound itself of a ace tone fuzz or whatever is, is something that's not new. But distortion itself, that affects the human mind in a way that, what is relative to that? Lightning, fire, you know, something that these super old kind of intense natural experiences and this like very focused and rare event. And I think I think things like electric guitar and synthesis and stuff, they bring that to mind really in the, the full um, experiential mind. In my experience, there's definitely a relationship between meditation, running, and music. Uh, I've often thought about it as being a kind of grasp for a, a kind of peak experience. But actually, I think it's about being in tune with where you are at the moment. You, you are a part of the environment, and your, your physicality is connected to there's a moment like, there's always that snap where you become more aware of the environment. So, and with running too, like you come to this space, it's like, it's you experiencing all these things. It's like an exploration of different uh, states of consciousness, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just a band of energy that we encounter constantly that we perceive as this physical experience. That's the kind of high I like.